Welcome to this tutorial on locations within the Azenzus Inspection app. In this session, we'll guide you through the role locations play in the app's workflow, how to navigate location information on the home page, and how to access detailed property data. You'll also learn how to manage attachments for locations, locate assets associated with specific locations, and efficiently add new locations to an inspection directly within the app. When conducting an inspection, we work with four main levels of organization. Inspections, locations, assets, and checklists. Each of these levels play a critical role in structuring and streamlining the inspection process. An inspection represents the overall task and includes a list of locations. Each location serves as a container for assets, which can be either physical items or non-physical entities that require inspection. For every asset, there is an associated checklist containing detailed checklist items, specific tasks or criteria to be reviewed as part of the inspection process. It's important to note that inspectors do not typically create the locations, assets or checklists themselves. These are prepared in advance by a manager or supervisor using the desktop web interface. Tools such as Inspection Manager are used to organize inspections, locations, and assets, while Checkmate leverages AI to automatically generate tailored checklists for each inspection. This preparation ensures the inspector can focus entirely on performing the inspection without worrying about setup. However, inspectors retain flexibility within the system. If necessary, they can add new locations and assets or remove them during an inspection, ensuring adaptability in the field. This combination of pre-planned organization and on-the-spot flexibility creates a streamlined workflow that enhances efficiency and accuracy. Let's explore how locations are displayed in the Azenzus Inspection app. Here, we have an inspection loaded. In this example, it's an inspection of all the stations along the Piccadilly line of the London Underground. On the screen, you'll see a list of locations included in this inspection, representing each station along the line. Each location entry provides key details to help inspectors navigate and manage their workflow efficiently. On the left-hand side, an icon indicates the attachment status for each location. If no attachments are present, a camera icon is displayed. However, if there are attachments, the icon changes to a photo icon, accompanied by a number below it. This number represents the total attachments for that location. For example, a location might display a photo icon with the number 7 underneath, indicating it has 7 attachments. Clicking on the icon takes the user directly to the Attachments tab for that location. Next to the attachment icon, there are two lines of text. The upper line displays the station name, while the lower line shows the progress for that location as a percentage. This percentage reflects the completion status of inspection items for all assets under that location. By default, these fields display the following details. The upper line shows the location name, and the lower line displays the location progress. These settings can be customized in the desktop web interface using the Azenzus Inspection Manager. To learn more about customizing this display, click the link in the top right corner of this video. On the right-hand side of each location entry, an arrow icon is displayed. Clicking this arrow takes the user directly to the Assets tab for that location. Below the arrow, two numbers are shown. The first indicates the number of fully inspected assets, while the second shows the total number of assets at that location. Finally, the most recently visited location is highlighted in bold italics. This visual indicator helps inspectors quickly return to the last location they worked on, ensuring an efficient and organized workflow. When tapping on the middle of a location row, you'll be navigated to the Properties tab for that location. This tab displays the location properties, which are organized as key value pairs. The key is referred to as the title and the value as the summary. 
These properties provide detailed information about the location and may be grouped into categories for clarity. For example, under the category System Data, you can see three location properties. Zone, listed as 1, Local Authority, shown as Camden, and Area Served, displayed as Bloomsbury. These properties help inspectors confirm they are at the correct location and monitor its details over time. At the top of the Properties tab, there is a header displaying the name and details of the current location. It includes the same two text lines seen in the Location row. To the right of the header, you'll find two buttons. The first is the Forced Synchronization button, which allows inspectors to manually synchronize data for the location, ensuring the latest information is available. The second is the Menu button, providing access to additional options. Below the header are three tabs, Attachments, Location and Assets. The Location tab is currently active, showing the location properties. The Attachments tab allows inspectors to view and manage attachments related to the location. These attachments can be used as visual records or references for the inspection. The Assets tab provides a list of all assets associated with the location. This intuitive layout ensures inspectors can access and manage critical information efficiently during their work. By tapping on the Attachment tab, you will be navigated to a gallery displaying all the attachments for the selected location. Each thumbnail in the gallery represents an attachment. To view an attachment in detail, you can tap on its thumbnail, which will open the attachment viewer where you can rotate the image or add comments. To add a comment, tap the comment icon located in the lower left corner of the screen. This action will slide up a comment section from the bottom, allowing you to type your input. Once you have finished writing, you can save the comment by pressing the Save button in the upper right corner of the section. If you decide not to proceed, you can cancel the action by pressing the Cancel button on the left side of the section. In the Attachment Viewer, you can rotate the photo by using the arrows at the bottom of the screen. The arrow on the left rotates the image counterclockwise, while the arrow on the right rotates it clockwise. Any changes you make to the orientation of the photo are automatically saved, ensuring that the updated view is retained for future reference and visible to other users assigned to the inspection. If you want to delete the photo, you can tap the trash icon located in the bottom right corner of the viewer. This action will trigger a confirmation pop-up, asking you to either confirm the deletion by pressing Yes or cancel the action by pressing Cancel. To return to the gallery of thumbnails, you can either swipe from left to right, starting at the edge of the screen, or use the back button on your device. Attachments can also be selected for further actions. By long pressing a thumbnail, the background of the thumbnail will turn yellow, indicating it has been selected. When this happens, the header of the screen will change, and two new icons will appear in the top right corner, a copy icon and a trash icon, if you press the copy icon, the attachment is copied to the app's clipboard and a paste icon will appear in the header next to the menu button. This allows you to navigate to another location, asset or checklist and paste the copied attachment into the new context. When pressing the paste button, a pop-up will appear asking you to confirm pasting. To cancel the action press no, to confirm the action press yes. If you press the trash icon, a confirmation pop-up will appear, prompting you to cancel or confirm the deletion of the selected attachments. You can exit selection mode at any time by tapping the back arrow in the top left corner of the screen. Adding new attachments is also straightforward. At the bottom right corner of the Attachments tab, there is a camera button. By pressing this button, you will be navigated to the camera feature, allowing you to take a photo using the device's built-in camera. The photo will be saved automatically as a new attachment for the location. If you wish to add existing photos from your device, tap the menu button and select the option Pick Photo. This will open a file picker, allowing you to select multiple photos from your device. 
Once you have made your selections, press Add to save the chosen photos as attachments. This system ensures that managing and organising attachments is seamless and efficient, allowing inspectors to focus on their work without unnecessary distractions. When tapping the Assets tab in the header of the Location page, you will be navigated to the Assets section under this tab. Here, you will see a list of all the assets associated with the location. To manage assets, you can long press on an asset in the list. When you do this, the selected asset row will turn yellow, indicating that it has been selected. The header will also update to include a trash icon. If you wish to delete the selected asset, tap the trash icon. This action will trigger a confirmation pop-up, allowing you to either cancel or confirm the deletion. To cancel, press Cancel. To confirm, press Yes. When in selection mode, you can also press the button on the right of the Delete button in the header. This lets you restore the asset to its original version. By pressing the Restore button, a confirmation pop-up will appear allowing you to either cancel or confirm the restoring, just like with the deletion option. If you need to exit selection mode without making any changes, tap the back arrow located in the top left corner of the screen. For more information about working with assets, press the link in the top right corner of this video to explore additional resources. We have now returned to the home page of the app. From here, we can add a new location to the inspection directly within the app. First, ensure that you are on the Locations tab of the home page. Once confirmed, tap the menu button located in the top right corner of the header. Then select Add Location. This action will create a new location with an empty tag and name. To fill in the tag and name, tap on the text field in the Summary section under the Properties tab. Updating the name here will also update the location's name in the header as the app uses the name and progress as identifiers for this inspection. Returning to the Home Screen's Locations tab by tapping the app logo in the header, you will see that the most recently viewed location is now the newly created location. This ensures that the location is easily accessible for further updates or inspection. And that's it. You now know everything there is to know about locations in the Azenzus Inspection app. Happy inspecting! Visit us at azenzus.com. Follow our YouTube channel for more tutorials and news on products.